What's going on y'all? I'm Czar, and in this video I'm going to show you how to record the loopback channels from your PreSonus Revelator IO24 into your DAW using a Mac. And uh, the DAW that I'll be using is Studio One here, but you can use any DAW. So the Revelator IO24 has two loopback channels, Virtual A and Virtual B, and we'll be using what's coming into that to record into the DAW. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your device mode in a universal control is set to multi and not single. And once you've done that, the next step is to go to your audio MIDI setup. And we're going to create an aggregated device. I've already done so. So you see I have mine here. It says Revelator IO24 aggregated. But the way you do that is click plus here in the bottom left, create aggregate device. And we're going to select the Revelator IO24, Revelator IO24 Stream Mix A, and Stream Mix B. And then from there, you can just double click this and give it a name. And once you've done that, of course, we want to go to Studio One under your preferences. We want to, you know, whatever you name that device, that's what you want to set for your playback and recording device. And then we want to go into our IO setup in Studio One. And you should have six channels here for your inputs and outputs. So you want to create uh, two virtual, two stereo tracks and just name it Virtual A, Virtual B, or whatever you like. And make sure you select them here and click Apply. And now we need to go to our sound settings. And you want the output is going to be set to stream mix a all right so i'm going to play a uh, some of my uh, one of my youtube videos here and we can go to universal control and we see that we have signal coming in on virtual a and in studio one we're going to select Oh no, we need to uh, select the input virtual A. And you don't want to click this monitor because that's going to give you uh, feedback. You just need to record arm it and you can see we're getting signal here now. And yeah, from here, you can just hit play and record. Uh, same thing with your, you know, with the mic here. You said input mic one. Make sure this is off. And now it, you see my mic level here. So if you want to record like a Zoom conversation and have Zoom come in on your virtual A and then your mic be recorded here, this is how you set that up. All right. Uh, if you like this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right. Any questions, comments, let me know and I'll catch y'all next time. I invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, a podcast about pro audio and beyond. Season three is now underway, and in this season, we'll be doing a lot of topics requested by listeners. So if you have a topic you want to hear discussed on the podcast, email us, DM us, or join us in our Facebook group, Faders Up Podcast, and let us know. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I have a link in the description that'll take you to the page.